But Tran Van Song, the war in Vietnam has never really ended. His wounds have never truly healed. I don't want to remember the war. Whenever I see or hear about the war, it reminds me of how my father died. I can still remember the body under the house when it was bombed. I don't like war at all. 25. 25. 1975. Tran Van Son was once Sergeant Tran. As a young man, he served proudly in the communist forces of Ho Chi Minh. He tells me of the excitement he felt marching into battle with his friends to fight the Americans. But the excitement did not last long. Soon came the reality of war, a reality he is reminded of every day of his life. We were checking landmines in the jungle, and I stepped on a landmine and it exploded. Tran was evacuated to a hospital. But even there, he found no refuge from battle. When I was in the clinic, they still dropped bombs. I was lucky because many patients were killed. There was more tragedy to come. While in the hospital, Tran heard about an American bombing. His grandparents, father, brothers and sister, seven family members in all, killed. He was left to care for his mother. After my family members were killed by the bombing, I returned to my homeland and built for myself a house for my mother. There were many bombings in my homeland. But Tran Van Son's story is not just a war story. It's a story of peace and forgiveness. How old enemies can give new life. This is where America and Vietnam come together to create hope. It's a factory on the outskirts of Hanoi. Here, the American-based Prosthetics Outreach Foundation uses local craftsmanship and materials to produce artificial limbs. It is productive and it is cheap. To import a part like this would cost about 3,000 US dollars. It can be made here for a tenth of that cost and the local rubber used is more suitable for Vietnam's climate. Three times more durable. Winfried Dunker is the executive director of the Prosthetics Outreach Foundation in Seattle in the United States. We started working in Vietnam at a time when uh, the, this country did not have established um, relations with Vietnam. We are creating jobs over there and we have taught the Vietnamese how to care for their own people, and that's really the most important part. That's the sustainability aspect. A generation here has now grown up without war. It's seen a communist country open its arms to the trappings of capitalism. But war very much defines this country. You get the sense that it's burnt into the soul of the people here. Not just the scars of battle, but the pride of victory. Here, the Vietnamese celebrate 50 years since their defeat of the French at Dien Bien Phu. It ended French colonialism and ushered in two decades of conflict with the United States. Hanoi today. The war has gone, but its danger remains. The Prosthetics Outreach Foundation says more than 2,000 people are hurt by landmines here each year. That and a high number of traffic and rail accidents all adds to the demand for artificial limbs. Wien Thi Thuy lost her leg in a train accident when she was 18 years old. From a poor family, she wondered how she would ever survive. When I lost my leg, I thought I couldn't do anything for my life, and I was so sad. I can't do anything. I can't get a job. But she has survived, and more. She was fitted with an artificial leg. Now she is an athlete, a medal-winning sprinter, whose earnings have helped her family build this house. I have a very happy life. I met my husband. I have two children. One is studying in high school, one in primary school. My life is so happy now. 
Critics of America's war in Iraq compare it to Vietnam. One thing both share in common, the need to treat the wounded. There are lessons here in Vietnam, as locals have used American know-how and support to meet their own demands. In the future, so too could Iraq. What I hear is that there are a sizable number of amputees. The technology that we have provided to Vietnam, the automated manufacturing of limbs, is equally suitable in Iraq or in any other country for that matter. There's a more personal lesson from Tran Van Song. The man who fought the Americans now counts them as friends. He proudly shows them off in his scrapbook. Tran too is an athlete, a cyclist and runner. He has competed in the New York Marathon. And wherever he goes, he takes a bit of America with him. His leg. You see this? Stamped, made in the USA. Stan Grant for Global Challenges, Hanoi.